Hello guys, good evening. I'm in Kosovo, I'm in the capital, Pristina. I'm on Boulevard Nena Teresa, which is the main walking street and shopping street and restaurant street, I think, in the center of the city. Come here in the evening, it's absolutely buzzing. So I'm currently sitting on the newborn sign, which is a famous monument in Pristina to indicate Kosovo's independence in 2008 as a new country. And as you can see, the N and the W have been knocked over. So this road is Bill Clinton Boulevard and there's a statue of him and an American flag to commemorate his efforts during the 90s towards Kosovo's independence and apparently they love Americans here so if you're American come and visit you'll get a very warm reception I think. There's also a clothes shop named Hillary just next to the statue which is obviously not a coincidence it's definitely deliberate. here in the evening lots of families and couples out going for an evening stroll as it's much cooler at this time of day and tons going on the Pristina International Film Festival but something even more interesting right next to it is this little football tournament going on. now the next morning and I'm going to be exploring a few more places of interest in Pristina, Kosovo. So I'm now inside the Ethnographic Museum which just shows the way of life of people in the Kosovo region uh, in the past. Some pretty cool rooms. I think it's good to give you a feel of the culture. My shoes off. Some very jazzy outfits. Trying to sit on one of these stools would be a challenge in itself. They are so low. <laughs> Look how chill this is. Really friendly guy from inside that museum. Before I came to Kosovo, I was told that Albanians are well renowned for their hospitality. And I have to admit that's been proven true from my experience. They'll never let you go hungry or thirsty or anything you can think of in their company. Now on an exciting uh, looking road. This whole market area I've been told is known as the Green Market and it's much larger than I originally thought it was going to be. I can't believe I missed it last time but on the floor it reads no walls. Every year they have a different theme for the newborn sign and that is basically this year's theme. I guess it means no wars in general in terms of current political situations between Kosovo and Serbia you could say but also you know the general trend of Donald Trump and the war with Mexico which made such news and you're talking about all the migrant crisis so it's quite a relevant issue the issue of putting up walls and the fact that there's no walls indicated by Kosovo 
is showing quite a peaceful uh, perspective, which is good. Being cross-legged. Where's Pristina? You can see one of the most bizarre architectural buildings you'll probably ever see in your life and that's the National Library of Kosovo. In Pristina it's suggested that they have the best macchiato in the world and so there's only one way to find out. It's pretty good. There's also this special kind of cake that's called baklaven. I think I pronounced that correctly, which is really, really good. Wherever you go in Pristina, you'll always find people drinking macchiato, especially on the main boulevard. I don't really drink coffee, so I'm not a coffee expert. However, I am enjoying it. In that respect, it is a good macchiato. So I'm going to end the Pristina vlog there. I've got some very interesting videos from Kosovo coming up, so stay tuned for those, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.